Well, finally it's over. Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury got the win. Um, the fight, the fight was entertaining. It could have been better, but I mean, for two guys early in their career, it, you know, early, early in their career, it wasn't a bad fight. It was a little sloppy. Uh, Tommy definitely started out faster, um, using his jab, using his footwork. He did a lot of, he showed a lot of movement, and uh, it took Jake a couple rounds to it looked like to settle down and started using his jab. I thought I thought he he did a good job pumping his jab, but he could have did more. His jab was landing. Really that's the the one thing he landed the most was his jab. I thought he could have doubled and tripled up on it and maybe threw a straight right behind it. Jake kind of got caught up trying to land the overhand time and Tommy coming in. And it it landed a couple times. But he would have been better off just trying to just trying to land shots instead of trying to land big shots. And part now part of the problem was from what I understand, they were supposed to be given the scores or something like that, or estimation of the scorecard, something like that. If that's the case, that would definitely affect your game plan going down the stretch the last couple rounds because you know if you know you're down, you're going to try to go for a knockout. And uh, with that being said, in the last... Oh, by the way, the referee was horrible. He took a point away from hitting behind the head. Uh, took one a point from Jake. I thought, if anything, it could have been Tommy that could have been... Uh, had, had a point deducted for that reason. Then he turned around the next round and took one from Tommy for excessive holding, which you could argue that was the other way around. So it, the referee just, he was he was all in the way. But uh, as I said, I, I think, because that's what it sounded like they were saying, that they were telling the corners uh, some type of idea of what the scoring was. So that might, if that's the case, that might affect Jake's game plan down the stretch. But... In the last round, Jake actually did land land a nice shot. It really wasn't a power shot, though. Ironically enough, he landed a stiff jab, which I said was the one thing that was working for him all night for sure. He landed a stiff jab and put Tommy down. <laughs> and uh, so the, the fight had a bunch of different elements to it that made it kind of hard to score. Jake probably landed the heavier shots. But Tommy definitely landed more shots. Tommy was much more active than Jake. Um, you could tell Jake ha has a hard time transitioning from offense to defense. Well, I should say from defense to offense. He just that's that's part of his game. He just doesn't have down yet if he'll ever get it. But Tommy was definitely more fluid, and um, the scorecards came in, 75-74 for Jake on the first one, 76-73, 76-73, both for Tommy. And to be honest with you, I couldn't be mad at the scorecards, but it, it, the fight I thought was close because some of the rounds, you could it really could have went either way, but Tommy's activity is probably what, what swayed the judges to give them to him. When on the other hand, you could have argued in some of the rounds that they probably didn't give Jake, that Jake landed the, the harder shots. I know uh, it appears that it's a rematch clause, and it appears that Jake will be uh, activating that. He, he said he'll take the loss. And by the way, I'll give Jake Paul. I got to give him his props. Very humble uh, during this, his interview. Did not try to make a fuss about the loss. He did say that uh, he thought the fight was close. Um, I wouldn't have been mad if it would have been a draw. But I do think Tommy Fury really won the fight. But like I said, with the knockdown and the points taken away, that kind of clouded up everything. And you have people already saying <laughs> that Jake Paul was robbed. So, you know what I got to ask? If you saw the fight, you know, do you think it was a robbery? Me personally, I would say no. I thought Tommy probably won the fight by a clean one or two points. Especially 
if you take away all the rigmarole with the knockdowns. I mean, with the uh, with the points being taken by the referee. But outside of that, I thought I thought Tommy won the fight. But hey, that's my opinion. You give me yours. This here, bust some boxes on fight, doctor. I am out.